Hi, everybody. Hello. I have to, like, move that. stuff on the stream, because last time ready. we were here, we had... Well, I, that stuff is something that, like, you can't mm -hmm. see until you do it, mm -hmm. unless you're in preview mode. Mm -hmm. And my brain didn't think about any of that, and Sarge wasn't here, and... Oh, you know, I mean... I get the middle spot this time. Huzzah. Huzzah, 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 huzzah. Wait, we should do this this way. Organize icons. Well, uh, BTS. I'm gonna do this right now. In case you guys were into that kind of thing. <laughs> if that was what you liked. Mm -hmm. All the stuff. All the stuff. I am in, like, like emergency power reserve mode right now. <laughs> I'm so freaking drained. <laughs> I'm so... I feel weird. <laughs> Why am I echoing? You shouldn't be anymore. Oh, okay. How about Ooh. now? How about Sorry, now? Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, you missed it. I hit go on the stream and then flipped over to the overlay, and the overlay had, like, all the stuff from last stream, like, all over the place, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> nice. I didn't, I didn't plan for any of this. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I literally just finished streaming, so I was like, I didn't even get to say hi to the wife. Apparently, the baby rolled over for the first time tonight, and I was like, I'll, I'll, excite, I'll get excited in a minute whenever I turn this off and go say hi to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So it's been a couple weeks. Uh, we weren't, we didn't stream last week. We had a bunch of stuff going on, and the week before that, we streamed with David fucking Jaffe, which that was insane. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and this week, Eric is in the Sunshine State of California uh, for work stuff. So it's just the three of us. We're going to talk is about it, our bounties. Is it Florida the Sunshine State? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not like there's not sunshine in California. Didn't, Technically, um, every state is a state wait, of sunshine. Wait, wait. I, uh, I think Michael Scott called it the Sunshine State when he was talking to... D'Angelo Vickers. <laughs> you know, oh. he called Colorado, he called Colorado the Sunshine. State. Yeah, yeah, that's he did what call it was. Colorado the Sunshine. State. Yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> we uh, we try to do things the wrong way, <laughs> the right way. I was gonna say the right way, and I couldn't. My, yeah, Florida's my, the Sunshine State. California <laughs> is the what? State. Worst wow, that's state. actually a thing in Google. California is the what state? Well, that good, huh? We can talk about something else. Because <laughs> <laughs> Golden Incredible. State, onward and upward. Golden hey, State. Uh, that would make sense. Gold Rush. It's right? Golden State. It's Golden State because the Golden State Warriors are from California. Um, Ryan, is your audio coming through your headset, or is it coming through your microphone? Should be through my microphone. You sound muffly. Pick up your pick up the microphone in your headphones and put it in your mouth and say something. Hello. Nope, yeah, it's not good. That's not that's that. not it. Alright. That's that's fine. That's fine. Let me it might be coming through my webcam. I'll I'll mess it with is. it. That would make it sense. Is. Uh, fix your audio, damn it. Uh no, it's coming through my my Yeti, so Well click off of your Yeti onto your mic webcam and then back to your Yeti and see if it refreshes. Okay. okay. Damn it. Hello. That's worse. Is it? Hello. No, it's not worse. It's the same. <laughs> he just said Oh, so it sounded. No, I heard like like a generator in the background. A generator. That was him going. <laughs> no, I know the difference between a human voice and a machine. No, you don't. It's not, not the yet. Matrix. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, God. I turned my gain yeah. up and my voice was like. Bleh. Oh my God, how's everyone's week been? <clears throat> it's been okay so far. All right, Ben, that's not conversational. Um, Ryan, <laughs> no. why don't you go first? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's been pretty good. Um, we went uh, pumpkin picking this weekend with the baby, so we got to go take her out in one of the wagons and roll her around the pumpkin patch and pick out some good ones. We got some good pictures with her and everything like that. So it was, that was a fun first outing for a holiday. Um, and then we went 
or and then Monday I did another uh, couch co-op Monday on my stream, which is a lot of fun playing uh, a way out. Yeah, which I will talk about out. that a little bit later. Yes, which yes, is yes, yes. it was a really good game. I I enjoyed it. it took about five hours to play through it. So, um, I started, but yeah, it's been. I started a way out with my grandma, and we were like, we're gonna play the rest of this. Never fucking played it again. We yeah. could. Anyway, sorry. It's been a wet. It, but other than that, it's been a pretty good week. Just been. Nope. Uh, Chilling with the baby. Chilling with the baby. So. Chilling with the baby. That's, that sounds fun. Uh, <laughs> so, 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 Ben, how's the eh? How's the meh? <laughs> it's been interesting, actually. Um, how's your week, meh? Uh, I, I'm just low energy right now. I'm r not running it. I haven't had a full night's sleep in like a week. Um, oh, if I'm full night's sleep. Eight hours. Oh, boy. Oh, I haven't had that in years. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you're still in your 20s. It's not, it's not funny until you're in your 30s. Then it's like, this is devastating. This is this is next level awful. It's like not putting oil in your car. It's just everything's rattling. Wait, you're supposed to put oil in your car? <laughs> right in the gas tank. They don't put enough in <laughs> right there? Right in the gas tank. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, and then uh, that's fine. Otherwise, uh, it's a pretty interesting week working towards being an affiliate on Twitch with some interesting results. Uh, it should roll over at midnight, I think. Uh, we think, upon in introspection. Um, and then uh, I had the biggest tweet of my life. Um, tweeted a picture of uh, Warframe, one of my Warframe fan arts, and um, almost to 1,700 likes on Twitter. Nice. Dope. Like 300 retweets and about 40 comments. Nice. Um, and of course, Warframe retweeted it, so we'll see if it shows up on their show tomorrow. They have their uh, their prime prime time show every Thursday where they show off uh, uh, fan or player dojos and fan art and stuff like that. So I would imagine it's got to. You'd think. Yeah. We hope. It's maybe they to. don't tell you if it is or not to make you watch. <laughs> yeah. But maybe. Maybe. I imagine a game with like eight million players just gets a deluge of fan art just every day. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. Even if, like, 1% sent stuff in, that's still, like, 8,000 8, people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a lot of shit. That's a lot of shit. <clears throat> um, my week has been pretty dope. Um, why did I say that? That's not true. My week's been kind of crazy. Um, but a lot going on. So I started another another gig at the old Apple farm. No, at Apple. Um, and um, working at the GameStop and doing that. And waiting on a couple of return emails on other things that are going on and it's just been a lot i worked yeah. yesterday i worked today i worked tomorrow friday saturday sunday monday tuesday and wednesday yep so you know life. yep yeah i'm like closing most of those nights too so my family is just gonna like remember the remember me <laughs> that's it <laughs> uh-huh um well but put. yeah, we'll get we'll get into more details about what we've been like up to in terms of games this episode because we're gonna talk about our bounties. It's our bounty episode, so that's a thing, and it'll be fun. Um, so we start the show off with news, right? And wow, I should man, it's been a second since we've done this the normal way. Huh. <sighs> How's it going, guys? <laughs> what just happened? Did your brain just reboot? He, he, yeah, completely, no, he complete reset. What just happened? Alt yeah. F4 reboot. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, yeah, this is Bounty Board, uh, your your favorite weekly podcast, which hasn't been weekly for the last week, but your favorite weekly podcast with four your four favorite goofs, three of whom are here today. Um, I'm one of your hosts, uh, Lubwub, Caleb, and with me, as always, uh, in the middle is Sketch. Ben, say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> Uh, God. And to his left, if you're watching the stream, is Sarge. What's up, dude? What's up, guys? So we're gonna talk about bounties this week. <clears throat> this our it's our eponymous episode that's about what our show's titled, where we talk about what we've been playing for the last month and what we're excited for the next month. We got a little delayed. That's okay. That just means we get to talk about more. But before we get started, we jump into the news. I need to have like a beep, 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 news 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 thing. Um so Ben, get on that. Um yeah, all right. First thing, <laughs> first thing, first item on the list is, yo, Fortnite did some shit this week. Sure did. Some stupid shit. Here we go. Someone's got to not like it. So if people have been paying attention, on Monday, 
uh, Fortnite crashed a fucking was that on Monday? Or was that so? This is how you, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt. I'm gonna let you finish, but I'm gonna interrupt. All right, Connie, uh, go for it. Uh, a meteorite did not crash. It was much more than that. Um, there was a meteorite frozen over the landscape for a while, and all these rifts were opening up. So they launched a missile called, I think, the Visitor or something like that, into the rift, and a bunch of missiles shot up out of all the other rifts, and all of a sudden, like, dozens of missiles were flying all over the sky, and then they all hit the meteor, and it disappeared. And then all the missiles came out and then hit the surface and caused this huge cataclysm. Hmm. And that caused... It was this big, long, like, five-minute animation. It was really awesome. At some point, people were, uh, like, standing on the... The people that were in the game were standing and they got like blown up off of the landscape and were just floating while all this was happening before the black hole closed in so they were actually like in the game playing thrown up off the surface in zero g when the world started to spiral into a black hole which is where it stopped for what'd you say at least 28 hours right more than maybe yeah. I thought it was three days the missile wasn't called the visitor night panda says it was an actual person who came out of a capsule Called the visitor, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the middle, fire the middle, yeah. fire the middle. Um, yeah. So then, so then this thing crashes into the surface and explodes with brilliant, like thirty-six hours, cascading light all over the yeah, place. It was really beautiful. And then the the impact crater of where that hit then collapsed on itself and sucked yeah. the whole universe into it, and it went black. The whole screen went black, and there was a. It looked like a black hole in the center yeah. of the screen, way off in the distance, for 36 fucking hours. Fortnite was D-E-D, -D, dead, for... And then, apparently there, there was some, uh, some some cryptic symbols and numbers that kept yeah. popping yeah, up. Yeah, there was a six... Like, at one point I saw a 69 pop up. I was watching a streamer, and, and he then, was like, oh, there's something there. So like, if you okay. did the Konami code, there's a mini game, apparently, yep. as well. And there were, like, coordinates that people put together out of the numbers, and it showed a place, and... All sorts of stuff, and then I yes, thought it was I thought it was amazing. Yeah, I, I thought this whole thing was dope. I and thought then, it was absolutely amazing. And then yesterday, the <laughs> so Twitter like lost its shit all oh, fucking all fucking day Sunday Monday in the beginning of Tuesday. Everyone was like, "What the fuck?" Because like Fortnite's Twitter account changed its profile picture to a black picture. It said, "This is the end." It like. The picture on the on the app when you went to start the game on your on your system was just people waving goodbye to the bus that drops you off in the beginning, and everyone was like, "What the fuck?" And uh, and then suddenly, without warning, which is good, they, if they would have been like, "Hey, tune in in a couple seconds," it would have been done. Right. Um, it that black hole, uh, it zooms out from that all the way out till you see the galaxy, and then a foot steps, and you realize it's a reflection in a puddle. And a trailer starts for Fortnite Chapter 2, which is in a new map with new mechanics, including fishing and other crazy shit Swimming. and boats. And you can swim and... Like a swim dolphin. Like a dolphin. Yeah. yeah, I saw that a little bit. Yeah, ago. I, really? I want to swim like it's a dolphin. so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Fortnite Chapter 2. I guess the game's finally out of beta, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fortnite Chapter 2 is live now. I haven't seen many reactions to how good it is or not, but... Uh, I watched some people play it. It's largely the same game, just with some new features. Yeah. So, and that's that's cool, I guess. New map, of course. Which is guys, I am fresh tempted start. as I have ever been yeah, to get into it, this game. If, if there was no building, I, as soon as I watched it, I said, yeah, I can't stand... The fact that if you shoot somebody, like a wall pops up, I can't do that. That's irritating. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a good enough shot already, and now you're gonna. You my brother. Defense. At least you can hit the side of a barn. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I can hit something now. You're right. Now I can hit something. Um, bad reviews. Oh well, whatever. People are stupid. But uh, it's um, it's like the same game. I think with some new weapons and new skins, and you have boats and stuff like that. People are gonna complain. Um, it's trash. Yeah, it's, it's clearly <laughs> trash. It's clearly one of the worst games ever made. I think we're going to be talking about this for a long time. I think this is a monumental, <laughs> epic piece of, epic, epic piece of marketing. Um, uh, I just think it was. I think it was really smart. Got the whole world I, talking about it. I think so, it was too much. Why? Why have it down for thirty six hours? Oh, because you had to like 
you like I mean Move they they proved a, they proved a point that people are so addicted that they'll sit and watch a blank screen Genius. for yep. so hours on end. Like I like I understand that, but at the same time, like at a marketing standpoint, like it needs to be down for like eight hours and then kick that right back up. Like okay. you're gonna, you're so really to like point. there's it, streamers that do nothing but play Fortnite. Like you're killing a streamer stream for thirty six hours for yeah. the fact that that's it's the only point. thing they play. You know, I mean, yeah, they probably had viewers still show up, and they were, you know, a lot of people were giving reviews about what's happening. But it's like, but what's the like? What's the point? Like, yeah, it's a marketing standpoint, but eight hours is enough to get your point across. Uh, here's something I have to ask, based on no research at all. If Sea Thieves has to be shut down for its content update, then how long do you think the biggest game in the world needs to be shut down for its? content to be updated and all its servers to be ready to go with no yeah, it's, it's the no biggest game in the world but it's not the biggest game in the world when it comes to like but there's like no but, what, but how, i'm just how saying like how long it. would that integration take across the world with all the servers with no hitches no server yeah who knows no they had to like take down their whole server structure right across and, the world and upload a new map into it and a bunch of new mechanics and i mean apex updated a new map and dropped a new character and now they have halloween out and that's new mechanics and new mm-hmm. Everything and they did that overnight. Yeah, yeah. I like, hey, so here's an update. Good luck. There's a good Mark chance it. most of this was to build hype. <laughs> yeah, and do and doing it in the middle of Sunday, and then all day Monday, and starting fresh with 2.0 on Tuesday. Um, I don't know. The well, only thing, the only thing I care about, I don't care about people like, oh, I don't have anything to play. You'll be fine. The people that I do worry about are the streamers. If that is literally your only bread and butter. Yeah, that kind of sucks, I guess, right? But I don't know. That's yeah. I, th- I think it was. I think it was awesome. I think we'll be talking about it for a while. I think it's cool. Yeah, I mean, no one's ever it's done it before. No one's ever done it before. So that's definitely a thing that like. And if any game around. could do it, it's one this big, so that everybody's watching. I I, right? I did have that conversation. Like if Warface the other day. did it, like, who would care? Right? Yeah, I was like, what other game in the world right now could be like? I'm gonna shut it down for 36 hours and people are gonna come back. Like, yeah, uh, that, that, but that was a point proven. Like, that's that's the only thing I can say that really came out of this is like, hey, we can show you a black screen of a black hole and you're gonna sit there and watch it because I know you love this game so much and then you're gonna be around as soon as it comes back. Like, there's no, and then they they didn't even change much. Like, yeah, I, I like there's say, not there's said different this guns maybe, but like I haven't just, played it so I don't know, but. Yeah, Luigi said this a minute ago, and I tend to agree. Uh, he said everything in terms of trees and models are all the same. I will tell you that when watching the new version, I'm like, really? That's it? So It's not a new game. It's not a new game. But even Why? if it were a new map, it doesn't really feel like a new map. It feels like a Rubik's Cubed map. It just feels like things have been pushed around. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. But the trees, Took them 36 the trees hours and bushes aren't going to change. Redo a cartoon map. Trees and bushes aren't going to change. It did in Apex. That new map looked completely different. Okay. Mm. Don't even have like the uh, don't even have the same building types really. No, everything's different. Even the yeah. rocks looked higher poly in the new map. Like I was thoroughly impressed. Because they care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. We nailed it. We figured it out. All right, let's move on to the next news thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll do a quick one. Uh, Netflix announced recently that Stranger Things set the viewership record for Netflix. Stranger Things season three. It nice. is the most watched show they've ever released. More than The Office, huh? Uh, that might be specific to exclusive content, because I can't okay. imagine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think I I hold the record for them. Come on now. <laughs> I've, been, I've been streaming on three different devices in my house right now. It's just like a... <laughs> Background noise. It's like a hall of mirrors for The Office <laughs> in my house. Uh, that's a joke, by the way. Streaming in 64 million... Wait, hold on. Was viewed... <laughs> by more than 60 million households, according to Netflix's quarterly earnings report, the third season of Stranger Things achieved more over 64 million views in four weeks. Uh, this makes the third season the most viewed season of the show. Yeah. Wait. Of the show? Because that's different. This makes the show. Furthermore, the Hollywood season, Reporter the reports season. this figure easily surpasses yeah. the viewership for previous Netflix shows. So Netflix okay. shows. Right. What's awesome is that... Uh, Oh, I misread that. Never mind. Sandra Bullock's, uh, Bull- Bullock's Bird Box got 45 million views in the first Sandra Bullock's Bird Box. <laughs> yeah. I like Bird Box. 
didn't watch it. So how does it feel like the most <laughs> watched show on Netflix you haven't even touched? How does that make you feel? That's not that I haven't even touched it. I just haven't watched season three. I've watched season right. one and two. The thing we're talking about. I mean, I want to get to it. Okay. Yeah. And I'm Next. upset that I haven't yet. It's, um, I don't know, like, I haven't watched Breaking Bad yet. And yeah. El Camino just came out, and people were like, man, if you love that show, you're like, going to love this movie. It's yeah, it's great. Off. And like, <laughs> well, okay. i got to watch not, five seasons of the show first. Too much content, not enough not enough hours in the day. Yep. You miss, oh. If you focus on one show, you miss three. And yeah. then if you go focus on that one, you miss three more. Same with games. If, like, I'm playing Ghost Recon right now, and I'm missing out on Borderlands and Destiny completely. And, like... I've listened to people talk about the new Destiny shit, and I, I want to get into it because it sounds fucking awesome. But I've got to find time for that. Yep. We'll see how how much time Call of Duty takes for me um, in the next couple weeks. Um, but we'll talk more about that as it goes. Um, so let's not talk about this last one. Ben, you added one. Uh, do you want to do you want to take that one? Kind of a big deal. Uh, yeah, League yeah, of Legends, yeah. biggest game in the world. Had, Hold on, uh, you just or, said Fortnite was the biggest game in the world like 10 minutes ago. I know, but <laughs> League of Legends actually is. Um, <laughs> I'm being like, hypercritical. <laughs> yeah. uh, so Riot Games had uh, like a thing, like an event, and they announced uh, like at least two or three new games. Uh, they've got like an eight-player auto chess game. They have a, a trading card game, a first-person shooter. Uh, I think a fighting game was mentioned in there, but you had to like look closely in the vid doc to see it. And then they have a show coming. Uh, I don't think. Oh, it is Netflix. Okay, called Arcane, and it's. Uh, I don't know anything about League of Legends. I know Ryan does. Um, <laughs> I do know that it's pretty, and I enjoyed playing it when I did. But I can tell you, this is some of the most beautiful animation I've ever seen. Dude, so they, they're top notch on all of their animations. Interested in the lore of League of Legends because I like, would watch that. That's if you get, if you guys ever get the um, chance, look at so YouTube trailers. Whatever oh, Riot's been doing all these years, I guess socking all his money away and buying those really expensive commercials they've been having over the years. Those are all awesome. Um, uh, but, 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 but yeah, yeah their, their all, animations are fantastic. They really are. Like, uh, if you ever get a chance, get on there and just watch the League of Legends YouTube channel. They're so great. They're so fucking good. Yeah. Like they they made a full animated um, concert that they had. Yeah. And it's like they had people. There was an all-girl band from Japan, I believe, mm-hmm. that they they made a whole album, and then they animated it with yeah. all the char- with all the female characters from the game. Yeah. Like, is it, it Blizzard? It is it Blizzard level good? It's yeah. better. Dude. Yeah. How have I and never seen? And it's different styles. So every animation is a different style. So they'll talk about a new character, and they'll hire a new whole animation team. Yeah. To talk about this, it's really cool. So their first-person shooter is a tactical first-person shooter. So riots, yeah. riots doing big things. They're, it's like CS:GO and Overwatch together. And Rainbow Six. No. No. Is no. It not? It, it, it's 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 literally it literally looks like CS:GO but more cartoony. But then it has like abilities like League of Legends does, but it's more of like an Overwatch style it, ability type thing. It looks hmm. like it owes a lot of yeah. Team Fortress Two and Overwatch, while Riot promises it will keep the game going for years to come. Yeah. So we really need if all these games are announced are all like ten year plan, just you know, like <clears throat> no sequels. This this is a new thing and we're gonna keep it going forever. Yeah, sure. That'd be and, interesting. And yeah. with uh, Pandas saying like the lore from League of Legends is probably like the biggest storyline ever. Like it's so much to try and keep up and they just Some released characters. a new they just released a new character in the cinematic trailer. Um <laughs> about had him, in, had him in tears, low key. It was, dude. It was really good. It's awesome. if you if you know the the backstory behind the like the fight that happens in it, dude. It's it, it'll hit you right in the right in the gut. Um, what is this? How have I not been aware of this? You be, you've been a busy boy. I'm being yeah. a busy boy. Yeah. Well, uh, well the what, animated what? <laughs> trailer for the show, which is called Arcane, which I might have missed for those listening, uh, looked awesome. And it was kind of emotional too because it went uh, over like some of those animated trailers we Ryan and I were just talking. about. Hmm. In the cutscene for the show, so cool, so so cool. All right. I I wish League would actually make if they made a TV series about the lore, dude. You could make a hundred seasons. Well, that's what this is. No, but is it is it built around like the? Yeah. Okay. You yeah. Didn't, you didn't really dive into that. Yeah, you it's a League of Legends lore based 
okay. show called Got Arcane. It. Well, thanks. Yeah. All right. So, well, there it is. So, yeah, it could get ready for a hundred seasons. <laughs> get ready for a hundred <laughs> seasons. I've been telling my grandkids about watching the season premiere of the first episode. For real it's gonna, Regents. It's going to knock Naruto <laughs> off, its, off its throne. I think that's one of the longest ones. I, think. I mean, Doctor Who's the longest. Dragon Ball Z is still going on, isn't it? I'm trying to stick with an animated. An, 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 an. Dragon Ball kept rebooting. Did yeah. It? Um, so this one we don't have to talk about for a super long time because I don't think anyone's in disagreement that this is stupid, but Blizzard banned a college Hearthstone team for six months after protesting for Hong Kong. Um, Blizzard's been in the news kind of a lot recently doing yeah. stuff like this. Uh, Blitzchung, we talked about him on Shit Show last week. Mm -hmm. um, Blitzchung got banned for a year and had his prize pool removed and the two streamers that were hosting the, the interview got fired and since then Blizzard has doubled down on why they did it but they cut Blitzchung's suspension down to six months, gave him his money back and cut yeah. the streamers um, they're not fired but they are also suspended for six months which like, yo, they had nothing to do with that shit well, how are they supposed to know that was going to happen? Anyway, um, so yeah, Blizzard's uh, doing... We all underestimate the power of China. Yeah, sure. There sure. are a lot more gamers and fans and people with money in China than just about anywhere else in the world. Yeah. And that includes fans of the NBA, since it's a bit on topic mm -hmm. uh, for the past, past few weeks. There yeah, are yeah, yeah. twice the number of paying NBA fans in China than there are the United States. So... There's also like five times the people, so like yeah, sure, <laughs> easily yeah. <laughs> yeah, like there's yeah, uh, uh, the, the beginning of Social Network, uh, Mark Zuckerberg is Mark Zuckerberg's character says, you know, there's more people with a genius IQ in China than there are people in the United States. <laughs> She's like, and his girlfriend's like, what, really? So like, yeah, they got a lot of people. Right. So get re get ready. Hold on to your lug nuts. Hold on to your buttholes. <laughs> That's not the phrase. Uh, Luigi Master, thanks for the 100 bits. You the best, always. Um, yeah, nice. Bits, bits, bits. Don't forget, Tencent owns Riot. Oh, shit. That's a good, that's a thing. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it'll be interesting to see if any people from any League of Legends, like streamers or anything, start saying anything about this whole Hong Kong thing, because Tencent and Riot are in bed. Okay, so we're going to use this last Tencent one. Tencent Riot. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to use this one to transition into the main topic. If Brian's like, what did you just sing? And I only know that song because Ben loved it and we used to play it all the time. Zoot, I was, I, was a, I was a ska kid when ska was a thing. <laughs> That's the most appropriate. That's so good. Ben, Sketch Sawyer, a ska kid. Think about that. Yep. Ska Sawyer. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's your new gamer tag. <laughs> yeah. Scotch Sawyer. Well, that's also good. Fuck. It is pretty good, uh, but I'm not drinking scotch. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Um, okay, we're going to use this one to transition into our bounties. So, uh, Ryan, prepare yourself. Um, Apex Legends, which we've already kind of brought up, uh, is doing its Fight or Fright collection event. Um, it's a Halloween event. It launched on Monday, right? Um, and so you've got a Fight or Fright uh... mode that is... Uh, it's you can only go in solo. You can't go in with the squad. Anybody who dies turns into a like a shadow creature, or a shadow version of themselves, not a creature. Sorry, you don't turn into a different character model. But you you go like you're all black and have like inky black oozing off of you, and your eyes are glowing orange. And your job then it's basically Halo zombies. You get killed, you turn right. into the flood, and then your job is to kill the remaining living people. And when it gets down to 10 people, those 10 people have to work together to get to the dropship to get out of it. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it, I kind of said that, like, Halo should do this. But they're, if they end up doing a battle royale where if you die, you become the Flood, and then everyone has flood. to get to the dropship, and then Apex did it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text Vince Zampella tomorrow and ask him for a little bit of royalties because I know he listens to this podcast. And if, he um, if he doesn't respond, just sue him. Yeah. <laughs> That's Lawyer up, <laughs> asshole. Because <laughs> I'm not coming for 10%. I'm coming for everything. I've watched that movie too much. All right. Um, so, Sarge, so we, we talk about, bound, on our bounty episode, we talk about what we've been playing a lot. 
for the last month, and I know that Sarge, you this week have spent a lot of time in Apex, and so I guess we should just kick off our bounties portion of the show to move right into the main topic. Look at that, only only thirty minutes in, guys. We got through the news pretty quick, like we know what we're doing. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sarge, you've been playing a lot of this. I've only played some. Uh, what uh, what are your thoughts on the Fight or Fright collection event for Apex? Uh, well, when it first came out, I was like, man, this is going to be a fun game mode. Like, if we're really down and, like, not winning at all in, in like, squads, I'm going to go play this game. Man, fuck this game. <laughs> 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 this, this shit. No, it's a good game, but, man, it, it really gets your blood boiling sometimes. It's uh, it's very fun, though. Um, I, I played quite a bit today. I, had, I rage quit out of it back to squads, though. Um... Right. But it, it's very it's very cool because you literally fight each other until you turn everybody into shadows and then you work together to finally get to your end goal. So that sounds cool. I think I can you try. continue to kill the other people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're if you're if you're still alive, you can continue to kill until there's ten left. But, but once there's ten left, 10. when there's ten left, does it take away damage yeah, to yeah. other one, players? One, yeah, once you, once there, there's ten left, you you can literally see everybody and then chat with each other. If you're all in game chat, you become on the same oh, team. So, so then you can be like, hey, meet me over here. Like, we got to go. Like, that is so cool. Yeah, you can you can team up very, very well. There's no ping system, though, for anything. Like, the, the well, monsters yeah, don't solo, have a ping. So, yeah, yeah. you won't be able to. I was, I was hoping they might bring the ping back once you team up because yeah. they bring voice chat and everything back in. Why can um, you not join this game with a squad? Like, I get if your squad mates got killed, they'd be on the other side. A lot um, of people have been squatting up. Like, yeah, I've heard they, about they this. Some, like people, they somehow, like, figure out a way to be like, don't shoot me, the and then PUBG, work together. Right? Just, like, squat and, like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do like, funny right, runs cool. or throw a gun or something <laughs> like that. Like, here, here my, here's my gun. Like, I'm not going to kill you. Like, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it's it's very cool. Remember back in the day in PUBG, we found out if we all hit start at the same time, we'll end up in the same plane. Yeah, we had server. two full squads at one time. <laughs> yeah. I remember yeah. so watching. Confusing. I remember and then we kept shooting each other. <laughs> yeah. I remember seeing us like the six of us moving across a field and a squad being like, <laughs> like <laughs> that's not right. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They like stood there and aimed at us for like a whole thirty seconds before we started shooting at them. <clears throat> there, there's a couple cool things about it too. Is that um, whenever you turn into, I, I just call them zombies, but when you turn into zombies, you can see where other d zombies are dying. So it shows like a kill marker for where your zombie friends are dying, so you can know to go to that location to find a new person. And then it also has a different marker to show when a new when another legend has finally died. So, like, say you've been a, trying to go after this one legend, well, you can be like, oh, I don't have to go there anymore, I just saw his death thing pop up. Um, you start with, like, 30% health as a zombie, but you do 150 damage with one hit. With one so punch, it breaks, yeah. yeah, it breaks through silver uh, shields instantly. But um, Gibraltar and Caustic have a higher damage, um, or, like, it reduces damage cost because they're a bigger target so you actually have to hit them twice um it does like 130 damage whenever you smack them and then um there's a few others that like pathfinder octane and like one or two others that it actually does more damage it does like 158 instead of 150 or something like that just because it's a smaller it's, like it's smaller character so they yeah, yeah. sure um there there's so many like ways to play it Pathfinder and Wraith are literally like the best ones to do it. You can zip line over top of the dropship and drop on top of it, and you can actually still get in from that way. Um, Wraith, you can do a portal. You can do your portal run and then use your invisibility to, to run up to the ship and just jump right in. And if you have other teammates with you, they just take the portal. Yeah, sure. And you can take everybody else with you as well. Wow. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Portal being taken by like twenty people. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was what else? Oh, um, the zombies are basically pa uh, are basically bloodhound the whole time. So they see red. They don't see where footprints have been, but they see red. Like so that like the legends glow red sure, the entire yeah. time. Yeah. So oh, while you're falling, you can literally see somebody running across the ground and go to them. <clears throat> so. 
<laughs> Panda right. said fad, T H A D, is that oh, a tea bag? God. And I was like, you need coffee. And he was like, no, I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's interesting. I wish that you could do it as a squad. I also wish Apex had private games so we could just get like a game of like 10, 20 15 of our friends yeah. just to do it, which would be dope. Because um, it's only 32 people. Oh, it's damn. It's not 60. It's okay. so, well, uh, yeah, so it's 32 people. Yeah, can you imagine being 10 on 50 zombies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and as soon as it starts giving you a location for the, like, the drop or the the ship, everybody gets it, even the zombies. But, oh, that's like, dumb. But, well, it's not because people still win. It's yeah. not like people aren't winning. I mean, I haven't won one yet on as a legend. But I mean, there's there's people that are winning it all the time. It's just you gotta you gotta make the right play. The, the zombies don't have they can't pick up shields, right? So does no, their health have come back, health, or are they just thirty health period? Thirty health period. So if you get hurt, oh, you damn. have whatever's left. So you can drop them pretty quick. Can yeah, you but respawn you can if you get dropped as a zombie. Yep, yeah, you okay, just keep okay. respawning over and over. Okay, that's like cool. there's people that are leaving the game with like twenty, thirty zombie kills yeah, just because yeah. they're camping in certain spots that are really good. I can't imagine, um, like, getting up to the dropship and, like, holding down. Like, if you had a surviving um, Watson putting up defenses around the dropship mm-hmm. and then just standing there with a bunch of people and fucking yeah. holding it off while people are coming in and, that like, awesome. getting it. Oh, it yeah. sounds great. I want to do it, but I want to do it with a fucking squad. People are holding up in the old tower with Watson. They cover every entrance, and that's how they get their, like get 50 zombie kills and one like get 50 zombie match. kills in total yeah. so yeah they just put a bunch of the those things up and they can't run through does it, it kill them if they run through it, it hurts it them yeah. it hurts them and slows them down but it shows you right where they're at watson gets a, an yeah, alert pings, like they're yeah. right there so cool. yeah so what, so what else have you been uh what else you've been up to for the last uh month since apex is we've we've talked about that i don't want to like cut you off if you got more to say but we've talked about that for a minute what um, else have you been getting into? Because okay, our last bounties was this the one in early September, talking about what came out in August and what we were looking mm-hmm. forward to in September. So we've had since then. For people who are unaware, since then we've had Borderlands, um, which Eric isn't here, but I think we're going to put together. I've been thinking about asking him to put together a post mortem because he could probably talk about that game forever. Um, so boy, we've had Borderlands, we've had Ghost Recon, we've had Gears of War, we've had. Apex updates. We've had, we've had all sorts of stuff. So Ryan, what else have you been getting up to? Um, I haven't played it yet, but the new Rocket League update is out for Halloween as well. It's uh, Stranger the Things, right? Haunted Haunted Hollows. Yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's got the Stranger Things yeah uh, logo and everything with it. Um, yeah, they've got it. It's it's just another one of their their typical seasonal things that they've got going on. You earn candy corn by playing matches, and then you can <laughs> unlock rewards. Um, they do this with spring and summer, that kind of stuff. It's um, funny they use candy corn as currency because you shouldn't eat it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only good for money. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, and funny fun fact for anybody who's watched me play a- uh, not Apex, sorry, Rocket League, and hasn't realized it, I'm using a goal explosion from the first Christmas event oh, yeah. they held on Xbox. Definitely I've had for three years. Yeah. Um, so it's events like these that give you that stuff. Sorry, go ahead, Ryan. Oh, you're good. Um, they've got a bunch of new skins. Um, they've got uh, new banner icons, um, wheels, rocket trails. There's a Stranger Things rocket trails, um, autumn leaves, that kind of stuff. So it's it's a it's a Halloween, but it's also like their fall, I guess, release for this kind of stuff. Um, they have golden pumpkins, which I believe are just like the golden eggs that they do for the yeah. East, for spring and Easter, which you get a, like a specific item out of them for free, um, which you can buy those with uh, candy corn as well. So um, I need to get on there and play that, start grinding out the, the candy corn. But the thing is, man, Apex is just, the new season so good. The new map is amazing. Um, Do you unlock the I, new I don't know. Yet? I just, huh? Do you unlock the new guy yet? Uh, Caustic. Crypto. Or, uh, crypto. Crypto, yeah. crypto is really freaking good. Um, he's completely useless in a gunfight. So but if you're setting up ambushes, he's incredible. Yeah. If you have somebody that, if you have two people that can carry, it's great to have a crypto and that they're not him. <laughs> like yeah. you don't want, you don't want the carrying guy being crypto, but if you get your drone in, a, in he, what about the that right EMP spot, thing? that seems pretty, 
It, it works real well. It's, it basically hits them like a arc star. It di disrupts them and it takes uh, a percentage of their shields away. Right. Um, but but you have that's to be, it. Like, in your he's drone. he's stuck yeah. in his drone the whole time. So you're, he's not helping fight. He's not doing anything. He's just showing you where everybody's at. But if you're getting ambushed or third party, like he's all the way over here. Yeah. Caleb spectated a bunch of deaths one night. Hey, fuck it off, bud. Fun. <laughs> I just, but here's, like, here's what happened. Here's what happened. They were taking on what I thought was two people, and one was down. So I was like, they'll be fine. And they went inside, and there were two more people inside. And so then they went down, and I was like, all right, I'm coming. And I got out of my drone, and I dropped down. And the third guy died. was in front of me and killed me. And the next match, Tech got to pick a character first, and he picked Crypto, and he said, you're done, bud. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh it was funny. All right, uh, well. <laughs> he he's really cool though. The EMP is awesome. The the drone, it does what it needs to. It has enough health that, as it should. Like I was, I was waiting for it to have a bunch of health where it, it takes a while to shoot it, but any shot kills it regardless of, yeah, what gun it's from. So that's good. Um, but yeah, the new map's cool. They've got so many so many cool locations it's nothing like the old map um they've got uh cargo drones instead of dragons um yeah that's cool which is awesome they got a, yeah. they have a train, train. yeah oh awesome like never land on train nope <laughs> i've never landed on it and it's gone well never please once. don't <laughs> um but yeah that that's been fun um this past week on monday i played a way out um which is um I want to say, what is that TV show called? Um, Prison Break? Prison Break? I never watched it. Neither did is I. Is it like... I have no idea. <laughs> no? Okay. Nobody I, 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 Prison Break. Like, the, the graphic on the front of the game, like, it looks like yeah. the, the show, so I, I want to say it has something to do with that. But um, it's really cool. You can play it solo, or you can Correct play... Me if with... I'm wrong, you break out of prison. No. No. No, you do. <laughs> it's very yeah. confusing, then. Um, <laughs> um, so yes. I, I would say that it's probably got something to do, probably has some similar uh, concepts with the show called Prison Break, probably. Yeah, well, I, I just was basing it off the graphic. I was like, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's based off of it no. or if it was just so. has the same kind of stuff. Yeah. But yeah, you, you can play it as solo or you can play it split screen, which we did the split screen the other day, which was very cool. And did you try um, to play solo? I haven't. I don't I think play you actually can. I'm really? pretty sure that game is co-op only. I'll have yeah. to check it out. Yeah. Um, it, I, heard, it was, I heard it was kind of a... It's fun, but it's just sort of a shallow experience. Like Nothing's too challenging. Nothing's too innovative. It's just sort of like, oh, this happens and then this happens. So well, there's, I could see why you might not get back to it and why Caleb never did. There's, there's a couple times in there that you can go full stealth mode, though. Like, you can literally... You have to navigate through some areas, and you'd be like... We could take every cop out here, or we could sneak through without touching anybody, and do and you know do that. Sure. Or you can take the more aggressive. You can you make choices throughout. There's there's an yeah. easier choice and there's a more aggressive that you can do, and you can pick which one you want to do. And I mean, it's it's just all how you want to play. If you want to play full aggressive and and do that kind of thing, then do it. But if not, you can. Sneak, sneak through without getting caught at all through the whole game. Sneak, sneaks. But the story, it builds too much. There's way too many little things of like, we're going to take this car, but we have to put it back together first, so find the wheel. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> now, find, now find the tire iron so you can put the wheel back on. And that, okay, now we need a gas can. Like, God damn it. Like, so that's, that's for a very specific kind of gamer. Yeah, and it's like, the, the game plays really good. It's just... The story takes up a lot, yeah, but luckily, I mean, it did, it didn't bore me. Hey, so that's saying something. I, I was kind of. <laughs> I, I mean, it that had wasn't me. Wasn't supposed to be an insult. That was, that was no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It, I, it says something, but dude, it's it's got one hell of a fucking plot twist, though. Oh, cool. One that's hell awesome. of a plot twist. Never expected it. So, Dope. Uh, if you guys want to pick it up, um, there's a you trial. A you have a there, there's a. Do what? You have a PlayStation? No. I, think, um, I feel like there's a lot of similarities between what I've seen of that game and Uncharted 4. I've seen Uncharted 4. Hmm. Or, there's, there's definitely a whole prison portion of that game. Well, it's like a mission. No, it's more than that, if you think about it. 
Okay, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah but it's like the whole point of the game. <laughs> hey, man, spoilers yeah. alert. Spoilers but they, alert. Uh, let's see, there's a trial you guys, that you can alert. download, and you can only play the trial if you have somebody that owns the game. So if anybody wants to play it that's on my friends list, I own the game now. That's cool. So yeah, you can cool. share we like can, a I don't know how long right? the trial lasts, but you can at least get a feel for it. It's only 26 bucks. I mean, it's not that bad. And I yeah. can probably any, play it two or three times. Yeah, and any purchase does give you a friend code so that you can share it with someone so they can play with yeah. you. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is dope. Um, uh, okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll stop the, the bounties that's, with... That's it for me. Okay, I was going to say, we'll stop with this month, and then we'll, we'll talk about what we're excited about next, next month as a, as a group. Um, okay. Ben, do you want to go next? Do you want me to, you want me to take it? Uh, I'll go. It's not going to take that long. Sweet. Um, what have you been playing in the last month? Uh, the only thing I really got to is uh, I got to play Distance. It's a uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting game. It's a sequel to a tech demo called uh, Nitronic Rush, which is I think the same company that made Portal, actually. Um, the first Valve? Portal. No. Oh, the first no, Valve. Portal. Yeah, before Valve bought Portal. Uh, I think it's the DigiPen Institute. They have they make these. These games, anyway. DigiPen made Nitronic Rush. It's a really cool racing game. You guys remember uh, San Francisco Rush, the arcade game? Yeah, the flying uh, cars and shit. Yeah, uh, and then do you remember the was it San Francisco Rush twenty forty nine or something like that? Yeah, uh, where it was all sci fi. So it's a lot like that. It's all these really cool, crazy stunt tracks that feels like those plastic tracks you make as a kid. Yeah, yeah. And then every once in a while, the track would break, so you had to pop wings out and fly and twist. Um, so this is the sequel to that called Distance, and it's got this really cool plot that's actually, I have to play again because I'm a bit confused, but it's a beautiful game. Um, oh, I remember like, watching you play this. Yeah, it was, yeah it was freaking gorgeous. It's like, it was $10 on Steam for a time. I don't know what it is now, but I absolutely recommend it. And you can play it in VR, which would probably make you hurl. But yeah, it was freaking awesome. Um, I don't recall anything new I've been playing on Xbox. We dabbled in uh, Gears of War, and the multiplayer was decent. We did pretty good as a group. Uh, I'm so bad of, at Gears multiplayer, dude. Yeah, it's definitely a whole different style of game, that's for sure. Yep. I felt um, I felt really good about it because I hadn't played Gears in a while, and I was like, yeah, you're just two, up two, on, two on one people. Like, let's go. Like, yeah. dude, I felt really good about that. Hey, um, Ryan, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt you, Ben, real quick. Ryan, mute your mic and then say something. Hola. Yep, it's coming through your webcam, homie. Yes. <laughs> I just snorted. Sorry, Ben, go ahead. Um, Gears, so, uh, Distance. Yeah. What about I, the I, new Sea of Thieves? I know you haven't played it yet, but you want to talk about it? Uh, yes, because I, I think I'd like to play that tonight. Caleb said he was down. But I, I said I was down here. to play it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I'm just we'll play it with you, Ben. Calm down. <laughs> Look at it this way: if you want to get an early night's sleep, just come play with me. And in ten minutes, you'll be like, "Caleb, raise the anchor." <laughs> Caleb, right? Um, so, big, huge content update. Way bigger than I expected. I thought it was just gonna be. They called it the cursed fort or something like that, or the damned fort. So I thought it was just one little fort, and then it ends up they announced a shitload of new cosmetics, skeleton pets, uh, a whole new questing system that lets you... Are those you... pets you don't take care of? No. No, you have to buy them that way. We buy them that way. Uh, um, I let my pet die, and I have a skeleton pet! <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool, though. I was like, dude, a skeleton monkey just chilling? That's cool yeah. as fuck. Um, and then there's a whole new quest line where you get to find these cursed items that you have to take to a fort, along with a uh, long time ago, if you died, you could hold up your lantern on the on the ferry, and according to how you died, the lantern turns a different color. Yeah. So if you die by fire, it's red. By a shark, it's blue, etc. Yeah. So you have to get all the colors and one of those skulls, take it to a fort, light these lanterns, put the skull on a thing, and you get like a special fight in which skeletons of those colors show up. So you have to use that color to nullify that skeleton to make them vulnerable otherwise they're invulnerable so it's like this big Simon Says Skelly fight yeah. and you get a shitload of loot whatever it looks really challenging and is awesome. building to a raid I think yeah well a lot of the last quest felt like a raid to be honest with the traps and the 
like there was a quest line that actually required reading the stars. It was like me, Mom, and Odin were just staring at the sky for like an hour going, what the fuck do we do? <laughs> <laughs> we were so confused, but it was great. Uh, I keep I said this before, I'll say it again. The whole, it was very Goonies. That, all the, that yeah, whole yeah, yeah. update felt very Goonies. But then, uh, shit, what else? <laughs> um, uh, and then they finally released the fucking banjo. And I'm really excited about that. You were, you were more excited about the like, banjo. banjo they have the a banjo <laughs> locking yep. it in. Done. Yep. Yep. What? I've I was like, it's a banjo, banjo dude. <laughs> I don't care. I want a banjo. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's a... I don't, oh, and then uh, they have... um, They put sloops in the arena. I think it's a whole probably different mode. There's what? no way you'd go in. What'd you call me? <laughs> Fucking sloop. So I don't, there's no way you would go into a regular arena in a sloop. That sounds like either the best idea ever. Or the worst. I don't know. Either way. <laughs> oh, you can pick. It's not just like the sloop arena. It's actually. We don't know. I think it's a sloop arena, not not a sloop in the full arena, something like that. Full I also sloops. thought it, it might have also said duels. So it might have been one on one, which is Welcome pretty. Welcome to the sloop arena. I think they're trying to to de-aggro the regular game, <laughs> so all the people can get their aggressions out in an actual PvP setting, so let people actually go on an adventure without being. Sure. Arrest, Which is funny because when that game came out, it was like, it was like, kill everybody, your pirates. Yeah. yeah. And now it's like, okay, maybe that sucks. <laughs> white flag, white flag. Oh, they're still out there. They're still out there, and I, I see it in the forums, and I'm like, a, mm. pe people love griefing people, and then th the other day I commented, I'm like, I just can't play like that. I just can't grief people. And somebody posts a picture of uh, Jack Sparrow, where he just goes, pirate, <laughs> you know. <laughs> So. I still, I still regret not killing that asshole that we had on our boat. Yep. Ryan I and I were you. in agreement, but I, I was like, I don't. Ah. And then he killed me and took the most valuable chest. Do you get it? Oh, last thing for me, uh, we got. Uh, I am reviewing, and this, we'll have a review out very shortly. Is, uh, did you get the video done? <clears throat> no. Okay. Called Ninja Saviors. It's a uh, it's a remaster of a '94 Super Nintendo game, side scroller beat 'em up, just like Final Fight, <clears throat> but you play like robot Terminators, and going to kill the president, <laughs> and uh, that's nuts. I know, and it's really cool. The characters are great. The new remaster is awesome. It still it's still pixelated, so they didn't like remaster it, <clears throat> with, like hand drawn or anything like that. It looks still kind of retro. Music's great. Combos are great. It's really fun. It's short. Uh, and I had I had a great I think everybody should play it. It's uh, PS4 and Switch only, however, but it's right. awesome and it's couch co-op, so it's extremely cool, very very fun. By the way, can you guys hear me now? Yes. Yeah, mute your mic though. What about now? Yeah, no. we can still hear you. I couldn't. Oh, Ryan, you need to change the way your microphone is set up for cast. I did, no. but oh well. It's okay. It's okay. We'll iron it out and figure it out next week. We can still understand you, so it's fine. Uh, Rob Ben, is that all you've been up to for the last month? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and making making art and making Twitch streams and making videos. Hey man, you should be getting the fit the, the call. You should be getting the call. Getting called up to the big the minor leagues. It's not the big leagues yet. But. Yeah, minor leagues. Yeah. Partner is big leagues. Yeah, partner is um, big leagues, and I don't understand how you have seventy five people on every, every every. That sounds nuts. I mean, there's people that have 80,000 people on at one time. So. Brian, don't do man. We get there. I don't, yeah. Well, yeah I was watching somebody. a guy uh, earlier. He's an artist for, well, he's not for DC, but he's working on a DC project right now, a Sandman book, and he had 75 people in his chat. And he was just drawing pictures and talking to people. Hey, man, cool. got a dream. Yep. Someday. Uh, Someday. Uh, so, yeah, I've, I've accomplished all my affiliate goals, and we're just waiting for the clock to roll around and for me to get that email, so... I'm not planning on streaming until tomorrow night around 10, um, let me think. Yeah, tomorrow night around 10, probably, so. They got 12, 12, no, 24 hours to send me that email. <laughs> get on it. Get it. Twitch, if you're listening, get on it. Yeah. My screen just took a poop. I mean, I can yep. still see, but the right side, the right side where my Gee. chat is, is gone. So. You need to grab a napkin. <laughs> Do you wipe your poop with napkins, Ben? Yes. Paper towels, actually. It's the quicker picker upper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Why? Oh, 
Ah, okay, we're moving on. We're moving right on from that. Um, what have I been doing for the last month? Uh, let's see, September... Yeah, we tried Gears. I think the launch night of Gears, we played for 30 minutes and the servers were so bad, we were like, <laughs> actually, no. Man, um, here's a depressing thought. How many people also did that? How many people have not been back since, just like us? They said that this Gears has had the most mm. downloads and plays ever. So, so, we're the only, so we're the only losers. Yes. Um, so, yeah, we didn't play much of that. I want to get back into the campaign because it sounds dope. And I heard that there's a fucking... I also would like to play it. I heard that there's a decision at the end that Gears has never done before that, like, is nuts. Hmm. And I was like, uh, yes, I need it. Um, so, yeah, I haven't played much of that. We played, like Ben said, we played some multiplayer. Ryan was great. Um, I played like absolute butt. Not that I was surprised. I've never been good at those you know, the, the the Gears games. Um, but most of my month has been dedicated to Ghost Recon Bla Black Point Breakpoint. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Black Ops. Probably gonna say Black Ops. Ghost Recon, Ghost Black, Recon Ops. Black Ops Five. I've <laughs> <laughs> been playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and um, yo, that game is it's scratching the itch, guys. That game's f fucking great. Nice. I love it. I've had so many. So, it re, it's reminiscent of like Far Cry Two, for me, where like Ben, you remember that Mike Bithell book? Yeah. Or is it Mike Bithell? Bissell. Bissell. Okay, because Bithell's might not be Mike either, but anyway. Tom Bissell. Yeah. Uh, he talks about several games that like impact him over his life and help him through stuff. And one of the segments he talks about Far Cry Two, and this moment where he was like trying to do something sneaky and got caught and got into a car chase and while he's getting into a car chase like the forest is catching on fire because he dropped a thing at the camp and while he's driving through these fiery bushes a zebra jumps across the road and he hits the zebra and it was just this moment of like this is going so wrong and the weirdest shit is happening and like the how can this so far ahead of its time yeah and uh breakpoint's doing all of that stuff. I had a moment hmm. um, the other day where I was trying to take out a, a small outpost. Like, so small I wasn't using cover, right? Like, three or four guys, um, hmm. I was just going to move up and they were, like, in a line so I could take out this one and then move up and this one and this one. And halfway through it, a vehicle comes through. It's at the checkpoint. A vehicle comes down the road that's an enemy vehicle with, like, three or four people in it. And I'm, like, on the leeward side of this building and so like when they come through I've got no cover and I was like shit and they saw me stopped turned around the dude on top and starts spinning up the gun starts shooting me and like when he starts shooting the rest of the rest of people there are like oh something's going on so people start coming over and so like I'm running around this building to get cover and I get a severe injury which means like of the three the three chunk health bar two of them are red and just don't come back until you have a moment to sit there and like fix yourself up so right. like okay and my character's holding her gut so i can only use my pistol wow. so i was like fuck like i need to so i i'm using my pistol and i take out a couple of guys <clears throat> and buy myself some time to take it from a severe injury to a minor injury so that i can like i can move with my with my two-handed gun but i can't sprint i'm like limping bad and so, That's like, awesome. I do enough to get that. And as I'm healing the second one, a fucking helicopter flies over and spots me. And I'm like, fuck. So I hop on a motorcycle and I try to go, but this helicopter is trailing me. A couple of guys get in the Jeep that I emptied and start chasing me. And I get off into the distance, just a little bit, just a little bit of space. And I'm like, all right, I got this. So I pull off to the side and I'm... I'm so hasty about all this. I don't, like, get cover. And I sit there and start healing myself again. And I looked down from the game for a second. And there are these... Are you guys still there? Yeah. They just got really quiet. But you're talking. No, like, the audio that... Nope, Ryan, your audio is gone. Um, that's what it was. Um, so the, the there's these drones that fly over the, the island called Azrael drones. And, like, you can't see them. They kind of pop up on the map and let you know something's coming. And uh, when it spots you, it calls in fucking wolves. Right. And not like the animals. <laughs> that would be Got game, it. That would be game changing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, dogs. <laughs> um, so I'm getting chased by these, like, 
budget fucking mercenaries. And I'm like, man, this is this is tough, but I'm going to make it. This Azrael spots me, drops a fucking smoke bomb so that I can't see shit. And then I start hearing these these drones called Aemon drones that are, it's like A-E-M-O-N, named after a mm-hmm. demon. And these four-wheeled things. Azrael is too. Yeah, Azrael, Aemon, Succubus, mm-hmm. Incubus. Um, they're all named after demons, which is <laughs> intimidating. These things come in and they make this fucking horrifying, like, droning, like, war noise when they're, like, looking around. And I'm, like, hiding behind a tree and I turn around and look and there's, like, heads popping up. As wolves are, like, moving through this clearing and moving towards me. And I was wow. like, uh... And then this fucking succubus drone flies in and I shoot it. And when you shoot it, it goes into, like, attack mode. And it flutters around like this. And, like, does rolls and, like, dodges. And, like, I couldn't... I was like, I can't hit this thing. So I got back on the motorcycle. And as soon as I got on the motorcycle, a car pulls up. And a rocket flies right past me and hits it because they were shooting at me. And I drove through that wreckage. And after some shenanigans, I finally got away. But it was like a 30-minute... Are you streaming this? No, for a fucking course not. (sighs) That's yeah, awesome I was like, I'm going to play for like an hour. I don't got, I got much going on. I'm going to try this out, do all yeah. this shit. And then I'm like, well, it would have been nice if I was recording this. But like, it's that kind of stuff that keeps happening. Um, when you were playing Wildlands, that game was you had you and three AI characters if you were playing by yourself. Um, and if you had one guy with you, you had your other two teammates AI. And if you had more than one um, buddy with you, it was just... It was co-op, and you felt pretty indestructible. Your squad was really good at aiming when you were playing with the AI. This game, you've got nobody. And I actually haven't right. played this game co-op yet. So when, But when something goes bad, or if you want to go in hot somewhere, you've either got to be on your A game, ready to go, moving fast, and really taking advantage of the tools that you've got with you, or you're going to get fucking slaughtered. Ben, you were watching the first night I streamed, and there was a couple of wolves out in the field with one of those aiming drones and i was like i'm gonna take them out shot the drone once a helicopter flew in and i died in like two seconds i was like oh (laughs) okay that sucks um so it's been really fun because it's it's kind of formulaic like go to a place throw up your drone mark everybody solve that puzzle how do i get through this without anybody seeing anything but there's been so few games that have been so reliant on stealth for a long time that like i haven't had the the satisfaction that i'm getting from doing this and it's mm, mm, i love it and there's a raid in this game Hmm. and like that's fascinating to me a raid with stealth built in yeah (sighs) i need more people with this game so we can play together um i got lucky and and got a got a code from gamestop so that i got the big version um nice but uh oh yeah there's no way i'm spending a hundred dollars on yeah um so like there's there's yeah it's there's a lot to it um i played some of the ghost war last night which is the pvp and it's four on four stealth combat and it was dope i had that sounds great i was like laying down in the snow and full camouflage and a guy walked over me and i was like <laughs> he's right here it's awesome it was so there's a uh there's a skit uh ryan what's that uh what's that skit the facebook group that does video game skits um. Oh no, we can't hear him. I can hear him. He oh. can't hear us. Yeah. Oh, you guys can hear each other. You're in Discord. Yeah. Right. So the audio that you've got so hooked up isn't coming through. Um. Isn't coming through cast. That's it. Ryan, leave cast and come back real quick. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Uh, it sounds like you've got the the webcam turned off, and that's good. What was I saying? Uh, the YouTube group from Australia that makes. <laughs> they said the the ghillie suit works too good, so they like they go up to a loot crate that dropped out of the sky, and they like sit mm-hmm. on the guy in the ghillie suit, and then they go, oh look the ghillie Hello? suit got yeah hey hey there you go yeah it's, um, it's Viva La Dirt. Yeah, I remember the yeah. one about the ghillie suit where they like pick the yeah. ghillie suit up and like hold it on like it's the guy in a ghillie suit. They just put yeah. it. He puts the guy on his shoulders. He's like, like, look at this ghillie suit I just bought. 
And then, and then they get to the end. He's like, what if it's another guy in a ghillie suit? <laughs> and the guy's just like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's Viva La Dirt League or whatever. Yeah, they're yeah. great. Those guys are Caleb, awesome. there is another... Um, this is why you hear me. You didn't say anything whenever I mentioned this. There's another stealth game coming out, and it's Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts, but the Wait. AI isn't like as impressive as sure. Ghost Recon, but it, the I watched uh, this, TSM this, uh, streaming it be, because it comes out on the 22nd of November. Um, he was playing it um just to show it off and the first mission you have like snipers on buildings and guys on the ground and you have to stealthily like it gives you like 12 missions to do and you can do like the whole thing stealth you have to kill certain people within a certain amount of time without raising the alarm hmm. um it's got a bunch of other are you stationary inside. or can you move around you can move around okay but the thing is like the ais do like if you alert one guy he's like Hey, there's a guy, and everybody knows where you are. It's like yeah. that kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. But but at the same time, like you have to do, uh, like when you're sniping, you have to have wind and like distance and everything like that to figure everything out. You can use binoculars and and uh, like mark people's locations, and then you can go through stealthily with your pistol or with a sniper rifle and take the snipers off the buildings and yeah. that kind of stuff. So, I'm down for that. I love it. And yeah. um, Ghost Recon's addressed some of that, like, I don't know if anybody remembers in Wildlands, like, if you got, if you shot a guy and they saw it, they went to your location. Yep, yep. And it was like, this know. is fucking dumb. Yep. So, Wildlands has fixed that. Um, I've had one instance where it was not fixed, and for some reason they knew where I was. Um, it's only one, though, and I've played that game for like 30 hours, right? So that's not terrible. Every other instance, if you shoot and they see it, like, I shot a guy once, and the guy next to him was like, oh, fuck, and, like, actually got out of the way before I got to him. And, like, they, like, see the way he gets hit and the direction he goes, and they go in your direction. They're like, that came from over there. Yeah. If they see it. If they find a dead body, they just kind of, like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, sorry, breakpoints fixed it, not Wildlands just fixed it. Yeah. Um, but if they see the guy get hit, they'll go in that direction. So there's actually a strategic... Like, I had a base that I couldn't... There was, like, five guys in one place and two guys over here. And if I took those two out, I'd have to figure out how to get all five of these guys. I didn't have any more of my little sink shot drones. These little <clears throat> disposable drones you throw up that fly, like, six feet over someone's head silently. And if you pull the trigger, they, like, punk and just drop a bullet into the top of their head. It's pretty great. Um, <clears throat> I didn't have any of those left. So I was like, how am I going to take out this group of five? So I took out one of the guys that was walking off just the two. And then I ran around the opposite side and they all moved to look for me over there and spread out trying to find me out and like walking a grid. And then I set up where they were. And as they came back, I picked off the guys in the back. That's so cool. nobody saw it. Right. it. It's fun, man. It's a lot of fun. I'm interested to see how much fun it still is with other people because I've, I've heard stories that you might be a little overpowered if you've got two, three, four people. Um, but yeah, I've been playing the shit out of that. I feel like these stealth mechanics, they they could be an easy fix. Like, mo yeah. like most most of the time, like if if say you miss your shot and the guy knows where you're shooting him from, they just need to put like a timer on him. Like you've got three seconds to make another good shot because that's as long as it would take. Be like, I just got shot from the east on the yeah. ridge. Like that's three seconds saying that. Like. That's all it needs to be. Like, you oh, have they, a they do that. Counter, and as soon as you, if, if you kill him within three seconds, then they're like, okay, well, he got shot, but he didn't tell us where. Like, so oh, puts him on yeah, alert, yeah. Like, that kind of thing. Instead of, right. like, yeah. I got shot. Yeah, he's over there. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've had he moments where, I've like, had moments what? where people have come across bodies or I've shot and missed, and, like, they the bullet hits near them or the bullet whizzes right by their head, and they're like, they like they react and then they drop into cover and then they pull out a radio and you hear it go Broop! and then they say hey we got enemies and everyone like comes to him and then they branch out and try to find where it came from gotcha mm -hmm. um there's also times where i've like missed a guy and he's turned and been like Broop! and then i pop him right before he starts to call in and everyone just kind of goes and then carries on there's nobody that's like 
Yeah. Jake, hey, what guys, were you that saying? was a little weird. Yeah, Jake, yeah. what were you saying? Yeah, you want to check in there? <laughs> yeah, there's none of that. And I wish that did happen. Um, I mean, like. Terry's being an ass on the mic again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quit playing that, dude. Um, no, so there's definitely things that they could fix for sure. Um, and there's definitely things I think they could implement that would be dope. Like, I don't, I still don't know if you're in the snow, if someone sees your tracks, if they follow you. I don't know why that wouldn't be a thing because fucking Metal Gear did that in the 90s. <laughs> right. So, like, hopefully it's a thing. I'm not sure. Yeah. In Metal Gear, if you were hiding in the opposite side of cover and you, when it was cold, they saw your breath. They were like, yeah. hey, mm-hmm. there's a dude here. Um, so, yeah, it'll be, I haven't uh, played much in the snow. It's been a lot of jungle stuff. Um, and, Oh my god, guys, when you do prone camo and you're laying down, like covered in mud, someone walks past you, you can melee them from the ground. And I saw I saw this dude do it and he was like on the bank of a river and he like knocked the dude's legs out and the animation you push their head into the mud and then snap their neck, but because he was next to a river, it just looked like he fucking drowned him. And I was like, <laughs> this is so dark. <laughs> like, oh my god. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, game's a lot of fun, man. I'm I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to getting some friends that uh, that get it and get into it. Um, I don't know if I've really played much else this month. I played some Borderlands. Didn't have super good experiences. I played by myself, which is boring. And then I joined a group of people that were thirty levels higher than me, which sucks. It's the worst. Yeah. So that kind of bounced me off of that. Hashtag. I've heard that game's great, and Eric is gonna sing his praises of it eventually. But yeah, uh, my experience so far was like. Mm. I need someone to like start the beginning with me and go through it, um, and I missed out on that because I was doing something that week or something like that. Um, okay, so for the last half, we have a group. We have a group of questions that we that we didn't ask last bounties that I do want to ask this bounties, um, but we also want to talk about what's coming up. So let's do the questions real quick, kind of rifle through them each person, and then mm-hmm. we'll do the what we're excited for for next month. Um, <clears throat> What did you love this month? Like, of, of the things you played, what's the thing that you want to, like, hey, go play this? Uh, ben, why don't you start? I honestly I honestly think Ninja Saviors is really freaking cool. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just so simple and sweet and short and full of nostalgia. <laughs> My closing statement in the review is bring a friend over, get your favorite childhood pizza and soda. And just like and embrace the nostalgia. That's oh, the yeah? way it feels. I'm gonna yeah, get some just, Red Baron pizzas, man. Let's do it. Red Baron and some Mountain Dew. <laughs> for me, awesome. it would be for me, it would be Pizza Hut and Surge. That's that's what I played in the '90s. I played and ate and drank in the '90s. That's, uh, that also but, sounds really great. <laughs> yeah, um, that's just how it feels. And I think I'm gonna have Ian come by. We can't record it, or at least in my current setup, we can't record it. Maybe I'll figure out how. But yeah. Um, but I, recording be damned, I'm going to get pizza and soda, and we're going to play this game together. Yeah, sure. So that's what that's the way it makes me feel. It's pretty awesome. It's that good. <laughs> Nightman has said DiGiorno's for the win. Uh, Sarge, what's your what's your game you got? You got to get people to play. What's the thing you loved in the last month? Uh, I mean, I love the new up, update from Apex, but, I mean, everybody's playing Apex. If you're not, then oh well. Then you're playing um, Fortnite. Nah. <laughs> um, but a way out is it's a really good game. Uh, I had I had a good time with it. Me and my buddy, we got to bullshit through it. It was it was fun. I mean, we bullshitted and it was we were done in five hours. Yeah. So it's just it's a good little. You want to play a game for the night, you know, with your significant other or you got a buddy coming over or something like that. Check it out. Um, it's cool. Um, that's all I can really say about it. It, it wasn't amazing, but it was it was cool. Like yeah. it was for. Somebody that doesn't play single player, I actually am recommending that other people play it. So yeah, yeah, and you said it didn't bore you, which like it didn't bore me. No, that is actually like a big deal. <laughs> like yeah. games like that will will uh, wear on you pretty quick if you're not a single player or even story based kind of game player. Right. Um, all right. So Ninja Warriors, a way out. I'm gonna say Ghost Recon because one because of the stuff I just said and the rant I went on it. Um, I didn't really talk about the story in my little bit. Um, the story is interesting, but it doesn't know what it's trying to say, so we'll just leave it at that. Like, there's some stuff it should bring up that it doesn't. <laughs> eh, whatever. Sure. Um, but uh, no, the reason I suggest it is like that game is very clearly built to be played with more than one person, 
and uh, they keep there's always like an icon that's like invite people to play with you, which is kind of depressing because I don't have any friends playing it. Like yeah. I can't. Yeah, um, uh, Division does that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Division's always like, hey, someone died and needs your help. Can you? Yeah. You want to go do it? I'm like, no. no. <laughs> I don't want to go help someone who can't hold hold their own. Um, but uh, yeah, at the same time, like that game would be the PvP four v four would be really dope if I was. With a group of people that I communicated yeah, I'd with. I'd love to try that. Because, um, like, it's... The match starts, you get into cover in these small... Cons- these small maps that are, like, full of cover. And it just gets dead quiet. As people, like, slowly move around and look for That's targets. Cool. That's cool. It's great. great. I saw a sniper's awesome. gun coming through a bush. And I, like, leaned over with my silence gun. and was like, pop, pop, pop. And downed him. And, like, because my gun was silenced, they had no idea where it fucking came from. And so we were able to move like towards this guy. As we've recently discovered. Oh, I was that... like 150 meters away. Okay. So there's there's no way. Okay. But like if you're if you're on loud, then you get like a yellow hot spot from right. where that's coming on the map. That's cool. And if it's silenced, it's just you can hear like the k- k- from a distance. Yeah. But yeah, if you're close, yeah, everyone knows where you are. But yeah. Clack clack. That's what it sounds yeah. sound like. Path path <laughs> path. Um, what is something you tried this month you weren't a big fan of? Anything, Set, uh, yeah, anything you you got in, you tried to get into, and we're just like, mm. no, I, I I will play Gears of War when I find the time because I already own it. What about the multiplayer? I mean, yeah, I've never been a big Gears multiplayer. I remember playing a few runs of the Horde mode back in the day, but it just doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't doesn't hold me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I just died quicker in Horde mode than I thought I would. Stuff I kind of feel like, like what the fuck is happening? Why am I dying? There's a lot of a lot of what the fuck is happening. I feel like lately that I kind of want something to grind on. <laughs> no, but grind like I feel like if I'm gonna play, I kind of want it. I kind of want like I kind of want to be working towards something. It's really interesting, right? Yeah, it's like back in the Destiny. <laughs> Isn't that Warframe life? Yeah. Well, it's it's a lot of games do that. A lot. A lot. You know, all the MMOs. And and all the live service games have been working towards that. So yep, um, it feels strange to just play horde mode and go ah we died start over. Like wasn't that fun? Yeah, <laughs> like, there's like not much progression. You don't come right. in better equipped next time. You just start from the base level. Yeah, it's, That's it's strange. Yeah, it's PB. Yeah. So for sure. yeah, this this top this portion of the podcast is gonna bounce off me just just a bit. That's all right. That's all right. Been you didn't have much. much. You didn't like. Yeah. Oh, I haven't been playing much. I'm in, I'm in production mode. Yeah, yeah, that too. Um, Sarge, what did you uh, give a shot to, or like, what did you, even if you played all the way through it, well, what did you not super enjoy this month? Well, I gave a shot to something, but I actually enjoyed it. But I haven't played it. There's <laughs> nothing that I've played that, and it's not a way out. I also played Wreckfest, which I wanted to talk about. I, oh, oh, shit. Oh, I, shit. I completely forgot about that. And uh, But yeah, I didn't. There was nothing I bounced off of. There was nothing new that I played that I... How was Wreckfest? Yeah, how's Wreckfest? But you Wreck played that Fest game and didn't bounce off of anything? I think you're not. Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> um, no, I, it's actually pretty fun. The first race is a lawnmower, like, Demo- Demolition Derby. Awesome. It's that really sounds cool. very dangerous. It's, it's really stupid, but it's fun. Um, and then they've got Demolition Derby races. Um, I've only played about six or seven races, um, but it's really cool. Um, just... Uh, there, there's certain like they give you objectives like uh, get a rival in a race and then take them out and that kind of stuff. So it gives yeah, yeah. you like things to gain more XP. Um, but it's it's all I don't know if you guys ever watched like dirt track racing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or if anybody or like funny listen. cars and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, funny cars. That's street. Um, that's. Oh, drag. those aren't on dirt. That's, that's, ever? No, that's drag racing. Yeah, it's drag racing on on the strips. Um, Wait, what? Yeah. Like on a drag strip, it's called a funny car. It's what are like those the, cars with the weird ass fucking super oh, lopsided uh, wings and shit? Those aren't, huh? That's just dragster. There's no, a, you're looking at the front of the car. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. And oh, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the cars I, are like super fucking yeah, angled because they. Yeah. Those are flat track cars. Oh, I thought those were funny cars because they fucking no, look funny. Oh, midget. They're, call- <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 they're, the they're called midgets, Caleb. Yeah. That's why they. That's, that's yeah. why they look funny, Caleb. No, don't, nope, don't do that. <laughs> don't fucking do that to me. That's not what I meant. I'm not an asshole. They, they are called Panda's saying so. it's funny car. 
No, a it's funny, not. Look up a funny car. And it's I'm the, doing it right now. Go ahead, finish your thing. But you anyway, up, all um, I'm seeing is Pixar. <laughs> <laughs> what? Funny car. Nope. What? Funny, funny car. No. Fun, a car that's funny. Pixar. No. Cars, goddammit. It. <laughs> it wasn't There's funny. There's no funny cars in Pixar. Anyway. What? Um, Go ahead. So, yeah, it's um, literally a cartoon about cars that tell jokes. But they're Here's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're trying to get. At. Why are we hooked up on this so we're much? Not, Ryan, continue what you're saying. Um, but, like, at those at the dirt tracks, like, they, they've got oval tracks, and then they also have... Um, like the figure eight tracks, but you can do, um, what funny cars, yeah. drag racing car, Panda. We yeah. were wrong. Oh, yeah. Um, it's but cause yeah, the, you it's do, cause the car is fake. You do. It's just trailer, a fiberglass you do top trailer races and shit. So like you're driving around an old beater truck, but you also have like a, a camper hook to the back of you <laughs> that you have to drive around and like everybody's knocking each other's campers over and stuff like that. It's, <laughs> so it's pretty funny. What the fuck do um, I want a caravan with no wheels? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a snatch joke. But it's just it's just a bunch of those nonsense races that you can look that you can watch on like ESP ESPN like late night or whatever. So. All right. Yeah, I want to uh, have the trailer for Rec, the trailers for Wreckfest were like Okay. I'm down for this. Yeah, then, they're decent. Yeah, nobody nobody I knew bought it until until, until now. So. It was, I were, think it's only like 20 bucks. Has 30? it dropped? Because it was like 30 or 40 when it launched. It wasn't much. Let's see. I gotta look it up again. I yeah, it was. It was. It was not full price. Might it might be. It's 40. 40 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I totally wanted to play that. So there are dirt track funny cars too. Whatever the, you say, chief. The, uh, there, the word funny is not on this funny dirt track racing memes. The word funny is not on this screen at all. That says dirt track. Funny's not even on the picture. Panda said that his buddy or his cousin races them. Okay. And that they're called funny cars. But if you just type in funny car and hit enter, oh, all sorry. you see is all you see is drag racing. Guys, the internet Look. the internet fucked up. The internet doesn't tell the the whole the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth all the time. So, um, so here here's here's dirt shit. oval racing cars right here. I got all of them. They got four cylinder. Dwarves or, or Legends, Late Models, Midgets and Micro Sprints, Modifieds, Other, Pro Stock, Sprint Cars, Street Stock, Vintage, and Wanted. That's all the categories. That's cool. GG. Yeah, sounds Moving cool. On. <laughs> He's like, that. none of those said funny. <laughs> they uh, look funny. He said, a.k.a. Midget and Winged Sprint. Hence yeah, the name Funny Car. So maybe they just call midget and winged sprint cars funny cars because they look funny. Or maybe because you're not supposed to say midget anymore. Maybe. You've, You've said, said it like six times. times. You're supposed to call them little cars. <laughs> uh, and on that note, Dink Caleb, cars. Of? Yeah, shit. Um, so far, like this month, the only thing I've really had a chance to play and like not enjoy was Borderlands. And that sucks. Like... I don't know if it's just like that brand of humor is not me anymore. I grew up. Ooh. Yeah, I don't believe that. Uh, or <laughs> fuck you, bud. I don't know if that was that it's not funny anymore or that I grew up. But <laughs> if it's the second one, eat butt. Um, no, I I don't. I just, I bounced off of it. Um, I'll probably try it again later. Um, if I have someone to start from the beginning with, which I'd love to, uh, but yeah, no money, no time. I told Eric I wouldn't spend the money on it. Yeah, I didn't have to. Um, Odin bought it, so and we game share, and I didn't have to worry about it. Um, but, like, yeah, I've only played by myself. Or, the man, when I play with them, it's one of those things where, like, you want to, like, lose, you're still learning the game, and they're all super deep in it, so they're like, man, no, come on, let's go this way. And it's like, but I'm still, there's, I don't, right. all right, fuck it. Yeah, and so I just kind of got annoying. dragged around by my fucking ears. I hate um, that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Borderlands is gonna be the the one that I ricocheted, the one that I tried and didn't really dig. Um, I don't know if there's any other big questions um without getting to the last thing. Um, which is what we're looking forward to 
next month. Actually, there is one more thing, and Ryan brought it up last time that we didn't say it, and he wanted to talk about it. Um, the, our time sync game. The, the game that we keep coming back to that may not have been released this month, but something that we like, we keep coming back to and putting time into. Um, ben, is that still Warframe for you? You said you wanted something to grind with and didn't say that. So are you like wanting something else? No. No. <laughs> and I, I'm even looking at the games this year and I'll play them. But like what I'm really looking forward to is what Warframe's about to release. So I can get into that now if you'd like. So, uh, <laughs> go for it. Well, <laughs> Ryan said, or <laughs> yeah, unless. Um, okay, so I'm I'm gonna play Death Stranding. I'm gonna play uh, Need for Speed, and I'm gonna play Jedi Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That's that's my November. But uh, the rest, I'm I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, yeah, the single player. The I don't know. Will the multiplayer just look like more of the same? But we'll see. It's hard to contend with Battlefield's uh, uh, gun mechanic to me, like game feel. Sure. It's like it just feels so, I don't know, raw. I was playing the other night and it felt fantastic. But uh, okay, so Warframe's rolling out this three-stage initiative for the rest of the year. I think it's supposed to be done by the end of the year, like December thirty-first. So they have this huge Sea of Thieves style gameplay mechanic where all four of us get in a spaceship, fly out into space. One person flies the ship, the other people are on the guns, and anytime you can leave the spaceship, go do a mission, fight players, go steal an AI ship and fly that instead. It's it's amazing. Uh, so that's coming, but first you have to build the dry dock in your dojo. So that's going to be probably happening in November, if I had to guess. And then December is going to be the the, the lore based rollout with the new open world segment and uh, story based missions. Dope. So why yeah, is it called so the, why is it called the dry dock if it's in space? Um, it's not going to go in water. Um, that's because it's always dry. Yeah, it's not a wet dock, dummy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I hate you so much. Because uh, uh, they're dry. They, they might end up calling it something different because Warframe's got a different word Sky for everything. Dock. Boom, done. Yeah, but... Um, TM, TM, TM. <laughs> but tentatively, it's a place you put uh, ships Joy. when you're not using them. So, or when you build them. Actually, when you build them. So, we actually have to build the place to build the ship and then we have to farm the, the universe for the parts to build the ship so you have to build the dry dock and then the ship so they're probably going to give us time to do that six years later yeah. so it's pretty interesting like they they get they're going to let you build the ship before the game's ready for you to deploy it so you get like a head head start it's pretty interesting anyway so i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to that more than need for speed more than death stranding sure so yeah. i don't know if i'm looking forward to need for speed i want to play it if it, like, it, if it rekindles my old Midnight Club uh, love, you know? Yeah, sure. Because that's what it looks like, then I'm looking forward to it. Because that's yeah, yeah. what it looks like. If you yeah. didn't play much of Forza, I don't see much of Need for Speed happening. Well, Need for Speed's going to be getting chased by cops and all sorts of stuff like that. So who knows? You can do that in Grand Theft Auto. Which, I mean, to be... Uh, um... Yeah. I wish we had more people playing Grand Theft Auto online. I feel like I'm, most of my friend group missed that boat, and that I it's some, the most I, profitable for some reason don't even own it anymore. In, it's the most I, profitable I game in the world. And then nobody. I, I was playing with you for with. a minute, but we never had enough people to do their like the heists and shit on the online, and it was like, oh, you can't. You can be drug dealers now, and yeah, I want to run like a corporation. <laughs> I want to be like the kingpins, and like yeah. Maybe, Speaking of which, maybe. I did just reinstall uh, Red Dead. So, so did I. Play that at some point. Ryan, you should reinstall Red Dead so we can. Oh, you don't uninstall anything. So we should play the. The <laughs> online has like pursuits now. You can be a bounty hunter. Right. Or, There's all kinds uh, of stuff. All sorts of shit. Yeah, I want to finally get my money's worth. <laughs> Sixty dollars <laughs> a whole year later. <laughs> Holy shit! It's the sixteenth. It might be actually a year and a day since Red Dead Two came out. I think it came out October fifteenth. Anyway. Anyway, Ryan, what's your uh, time sink? Apex, Rocket League, that's it. So yeah, just nothing sticking with else, those. There's, there's nothing else that consumes my life. In, in games, right? In games, yeah. Okay, I was like, <laughs> my um, child consumes my outside life. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, you should probably take care of your, the human things around you. Um, time sink for me outside of uh, Ghost Recon, because fuck man, I've been playing a ton of that game. It's Rocket League. And Apex. Rocket League and Apex are like my two 
I don't have a whole lot of time, but I want to play for a bit games because Apex I can play three or four matches in an hour, um, and then Rocket League we can play nine, eight or nine matches in an hour, and it's it's a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> what uh, Ryan Ben already told us what he's looking forward to next month. Ryan, what are you looking forward to? What's uh, coming up that you're uber pumped about? I'm I'm super excited for Need for Speed because I've been wanting to get back into racing games a lot more. That's why I'm happy that Wreckfest came out and I've been playing uh, Forza off and on. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm looking forward to that one for sure, just because it's a whole different customization. Sure. Like, I, like I'm making my car look good, and then Forza I'm making my car functional, functional and like semi look good. So um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior, I think I'm going to pick that one up as well. I played Sniper Ghost Warrior like one or two, and I enjoyed it. It's, this one's supposed to be better. There's been reviews of like Ghost Warrior's been going down the drain, and this is supposed to be their comeback kid. So. All right. I'm, I'm willing to hear it. Sniper Elite certainly felt the right to fuck off for me. Um, Even though they're still making them. Apparently Sniper Elite f- 4 is good. <laughs> like it's got really good ratings. Ghost, Ghost Warrior still has the same uh, has the same kill function. Yeah, it does. You get a headshot present or a day. Dick shot. Yeah, yeah, it does the. It but it doesn't. In. It doesn't do the X-ray. But it does no, the. It, it does do the, the slow mo, um, which is really all I wanted. That X-ray shit gets annoying after a minute. Um, right. For me, Call of Duty, for sure. It's probably not gonna be a day one thing for me because. I'm not, I don't know if I care that much. I'm trying to get into the single player. Like Ben said, the multiplayer looks like more of the same. I'm um, only getting it because my buddy's game sharing with me now, so we're going to have on it. Yep. Nice. Or maybe I'll talk to Odin and see if he can, if he wants to split it. Um, ah, who knows? Um, and then, no, oh, shit. Outer Worlds is the same day as Call of Duty. That's why I'm not getting that game day one. Yeah. I couldn't figure out why Outer Worlds, because that game's like... Uh, it's story it's story focused. For those of you who don't know, it's made by Obsidian. Um, it's the people that made like the OG the Fallout, not the OG because that's in Exile and they're making Wasteland. But they they are they're one of the like original um, Fallout creators. And um, this game is basically Fallout in space, and essentially everybody can be killed. So you could be in the middle of a quest line for someone and you think they're really fucking annoying and just blow them away while they're talking to you. <laughs> And then they're just gone, and the game moves on and, and puts new people in place and stuff changes. Um, so yeah, that's on Game Pass on October 25th, and that's fucking exciting, because Xbox now owns Obsidian. Um, that game will release on PC and PS4, because they made it outside of that um, partnership. Um, and then, yeah, Death Stranding in November, Star Wars in November. I think Death Stranding's in December. No? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I just looked at the uh, Game Informer. Did it change? List. I thought they said November 15th. Or 22nd. Uh, this says... Uh, uh, shit, I don't know. Where'd it go? It says November. Okay. November 8th. Fuck, that's so, soon. Yeah, because yeah, Kojima just tweeted that it's less than 25 days away. Yeah, yeah, and it's gone gold, so it's ready. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Death Stranding, and then the next week is Star Wars. Mm, boy, Star Wars looks fucking great. I can't wait. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, to to wrap the show, since we've we've actually gotten through all of the questions and stuff for this bounties episode, which is mm, nailed it. To wrap the show, is anything you guys are watching or reading or listening to you wanna to bump real quick to to put a little plug out for? Well, I'm not going to plug somebody else's uh, creative enterprise, but uh, I, I will say that I finally started Expanse on Amazon, and that shit is awesome. It feels like Philip K. Dick and uh, William Gibson work together on this. Dude, that show's very good. It's very good. What'd you, what'd you uh, say before you said The Expanse? You don't want to plug somebody else's creative? Yeah, I said, is, what are you watching, and is there anything you want to plug? Like, I'm not going to... Plug there. Okay, but well, that's what the, that's what bounties Self- is. Why, what, should, what should people Self-plug. be playing? What should people be yeah. playing? What should people be reading? Um, a plug is self promotion. I thought. I don't know if it's exclusive to self, but who knows? Yeah, 
It's what a do you funny wanna, car. What do you want to tell people? Uh, <laughs> and then uh, we're working our way through um, uh, 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 Fleabag. Fucking great show. Is it good? Okay. It's very good. I've heard very great good show. things and never actually watched it. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, good place. I did. I wanted good. to do it. So <laughs> the final season of Good Place is, is live. And I didn't see tonight's episode, but we'll watch it tomorrow. No, it's tomorrow's episode, so we'll watch it Friday. But anyway, anyway. that's it. That's all I'm doing. So, uh, Ryan, anything you're watching, reading, or listening to you want to um, tell people about? No, not really. I've just been hanging out, watching streams all day. So I've just been having a good time watching people on Apex do ten times better than me and not figuring out Are how they I playing on PC my... or console? They're playing on PC. That's that's the main right. thing. The, the, don't let you don't let it beat you up too much. They've got a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. about to switch. <laughs> mouse and keyboard, my Xbox. Fuck it. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. So, but no, uh, I haven't been really watching anything new. Um, we've just been super busy around the house, so. Sure. Um, not not really listening to anything either since I'm watching streams. So. Nope. Oh. All right. Um, I haven't been watching a ton. I've been too busy trying to make ends meet over here. Um, we haven't watched. We haven't even come back to good place in like two and a half weeks, which sucks. Mm-hmm. Like I want to get back in. I want to like stay. Uh, yeah. I want to catch up. And, it, like don't let it fall off. Right. Right. I want to. I don't want it to fall off at all. Sounds like you're in a bad place. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> that's good though. Um. Yeah, not watching anything. Um, reading, no, not doing that either. I haven't read anything in a minute. Um, but I am listening to, uh, there's a musician I love named Drulu. It's spelled D-R-O-L-O, D-R-O-E-L-O-E. Yeah. And uh, it's they're like Swedish or something. And sense. I've discovered recently it's pronounced Drulu. And I was like, oh, it's shit. It's definitely spelled like something you should buy at Ikea. So that makes yeah, sense. Sure, <laughs> yeah. Um, they had a new album come out called A Promise Is Made. Um, came out on October 11th, and it is super good. They're evolving. Um, like some of their original like singles and stuff were uh, a little more like future bass specific, so you mm-hmm. would, you'd like hear it on Monster Cat. They were with Monster Cat for a little bit, um, <clears throat> and now they're with they're with uh, Bitbird, and they're they're kind of growing into their own thing. And uh, their last album had some songs that were uh, a little darker, like X and G influenced almost, which wow. were great. And so this album's got a few more songs like that. And then it's got a straight up like trap hip hop song with like accompanying artists rapping on it, which is not something they've ever done. So that's right. it's super interesting. It will be interesting to see how that develop how they develop over the next few years because they're starting to actually build a little bit of a following, a little more notoriety. Um but yeah. Um Smurf, are you here? Smurf, we is. we neglected to do a Smurf fact with Jaffe. And I, I felt I last time. absolutely horrible. He's not here. He's not Smurf's here. not here, but he did. S- <laughs> the The worst part about me forgetting is that he did send a Smurf fact for the episode what? we did with Jaffe. So like, eh. so we're gonna do that one. I'm gonna play that one for you. Um, if you guys don't know, those of you who are watching, those of you who are listening on the on podcast services around the globe, um, we do a thing at the very end of every episode, except for last one because I'm an idiot, where we read a random fact given to us by one of our good friends, Smurf. Um, it comes with a jingle. Perfect. Smurf facts, oh yeah. So happy that happened. Just put no, that in your computer. I know. I will. It's been a minute. Okay. It's been. A, it's been a couple. It's been a month. All right. It's been like six months. No, it's been like this month has been tough, and I wanted to do it this month. Got it. Jerk. <laughs> uh, shit. And I put my phone down in the Smurf facts on my phone. Okay. This is from Smurf for our Smurf fact for October seventeenth. Fuck. Man. This year flew by. Anyway, man-eater is a colloquial term for an individual animal that preys on humans as a pattern of hunting behavior. This does not include the scavenging of corpses, a single attack born of opportunity or desperate hunger, or incidental eating of a human that the animal has killed in self-defense. However, all three cases, especially the last two, may habituate an animal to eating human flesh or to attacking humans and may foster the development of man-eating behavior. 
Although human beings can be attacked by... This is so dark. Although human beings can be attacked by many kinds of animals, man-eaters are those that have incorporated human flesh into their usual diet and actively nice. hunt and kill humans. Most reported cases of man-eaters have involved lions, tigers, leopards, or and crocodilians. <laughs> those are... Okay. Um, however... <laughs> They are not the only predators that will attack humans if given the chance. A wide variety of species have also been known to adopt humans as usual prey, including bears, Komodo dragons, and hyenas. It's funny you never mentioned cougars. That's been our show, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) Call it a wrap on that. Uh, Shit. If you want to follow... Oh, my God. If you want to follow... Nerdy Bits, you can do that on Twitter at Nerdy underscore Bits and Instagram at underscore Nerdy Bits. If you want to follow uh, me, you can do that anywhere at LubWub. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can go to NerdyBits.com slash listen, or you can find us on iTunes, Google, Spotify, and Stitcher. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Go to NerdyBits.com. Check out the stuff. We've got video reviews that have been up, and Ben's putting another one up. Um, Our YouTube's having content coming out. Um, We fell a little behind on the procedural generation stuff we had a death in the family a couple weeks ago and just a lot of stuff going on in the last few weeks so we haven't been able to get a couple more episodes recorded but that's happening that's happening so we missed this week but we'll be out next week um ryan is putting together clip videos he put out his i guess second one this week he did the one with my brother playing Fortnite a couple weeks before um did the october clips this week he's gonna put together some more stuff um, I imagine for a, a video either next week or the week after. Yep. Um, Ben's got a video review coming out soon. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, for Ninja Warrior. I didn't want to assume anything. Yeah. Um, I did, though. I said soon. Um, yeah, we're doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, YouTube is NerdyBits.TV. Dot t- nerdy um, sorry. YouTube.com slash... Oh, it's not... We don't have our own link yet. So it's, it's a spoopy link. I can't say nerdy bits, or YouTube.com yeah. slash NerdyBitsTV yet. If you want us to get that so it's easier, you got to follow us on YouTube. We're at like 63 like or 64. Button. Smash that like and subscribe. Yeah, you got to subscribe. Point, what point, are we at? Point, like 63, 62. 60, 62. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, but that's all the ways you can follow Nerdy Bits. And like I said, me, at LubWub. You can see it on the screen here. You can find it in the show notes. Um, ben, where can people find you? Everywhere. At Sketch Sawyer. Xbox. YouTube. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. PlayStation? No. I am Evil Ben Kenobi. You're still Evil Ben. That's awesome. <laughs> yep. uh, and Ryan, where can people find you, friend? Uh, you can find me on Twitch, Xbox, and Instagram and Twitter uh, at Sergeant Sodium. Sergeant Sodium. All right, guys. Um, this episode will be up on Friday morning, as it usually is. And... Um, yeah, we're going to play something, I think, after this. Sea of Thieves. So long as the yep. update's not too big for us to get into it right away. Because I don't know if my yeah. Xbox did that. Um, but until then, um, we will talk to you guys again soon. We will be on the podcast again soon. And, uh, yeah. Adios. Um, oh, 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 oh. And Twitch STL is... 26th. The 26th. And we'll be there. So if you want to come to St. Louis and go to that, look up Twitch STL and uh, RSVP. And come hang out. Twitch STO, St. Louis, Moon Moon Base Market, 6 p.m., October 26th. Peace!